y'all know about the Ice Age, right? We're not talking about the movie, but a time when the Earth was mostly frozen. Apparently, that time froze over so many things now being unearthed, from animal husks to fossils that are so old. However, here are the 20 most incredible things found frozen in ice. Frozen Fashion Finding the Lindbreen tunic is a quest fit for Indiana Jones. It's a genuine treasure of ancient clothing that was discovered in Norway in 2011, but could be as old as 1700 years. Imagine that a piece of clothing has been chilling in the ice for nearly two millennia and nobody knew. What makes the Lindbreen tunic so cool is that it's incredibly well preserved. Thanks to the chilly conditions, it didn't decompose like most ancient textiles and still has most of its original shape. It's made from wool with a unique diamond twill pattern, which was pretty fancy for its time. But where it gets even more interesting is how archaeologists found a bunch of other stuff along with it. From mittens to a Roman-era horse snowshoe, it's like a literal frozen time capsule from the past. The Lindbreen tunic tells a lot about the people who lived back then, like what they wore, how they made their clothes, and their connection to the natural world. In a way, it's a bit like peeking into the wardrobe of a Viking ancestor. So, think of this tunic as the ultimate fashion throwback where ancient style meets modern day archaeology. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Scientists have wondered about what life was like during the Ice Age, and they can only tell based on the fossils that have been unearthed. However, there's a whole lot more to find, and with this in mind, they just seem to keep digging and hope climate change unearths the rest. So it seems that recently they discovered something else, and what scientists discovered frozen in ice terrifies the whole world. It's a creature that apparently has been frozen in time, and based on the looks, seem to have met its death unexpectedly. With a tale that makes it seem like an out-of-this-world character, we can't actually determine what it is. So what do you think it could be? Is it from our realm? Is it a frozen genie? Kindly share your thoughts with us in the comment section below using the hashtag sweet topic. We'd love to hear what you think. 100 year old frozen food. Anyone hungry for dessert? Well, you're gonna have to travel for a while if you want a bite of this 100 year old fruitcake. It was found chilling in Antarctica for at least a century and hopefully it hasn't suffered from freezer burn. This ancient fruitcake was discovered in 2017 at Cape Adair, which is basically a frozen no man's land. It belonged to a famous British explorer named Robert Falcon Scott, who ventured into the Arctic abyss during the early 1900s. Apparently, fruitcakes were like the ultimate survival food back then, which makes sense because they never seemed to go bad. The cake itself looks like a fossilized relic, but then again, don't that go for most fruitcakes? It's not exactly appetizing to any picky eaters, but apparently it's still surprisingly well preserved. They say it even smelled a little bit like butter, which is either impressive or slightly disturbing, depending on how you look at it. It was made by a company called Huntley & Palmers, and the tin it came in was practically all intact. Finding this fruitcake is like stumbling upon a time machine dessert. It gives us a taste pun intended, of what life was like for those brave explorers who roamed the icy wilderness a century ago. But that's not to say we recommend taking a bite. Sure, it might be edible, but who knows what a 100-year-old fruitcake would taste like. A frozen fighter plane. Imagine this, you're in the middle of nowhere, Greenland, and you stumble upon a World War II P-38 fighter plane buried under a whopping 300 feet of ice. Well, someone didn't have to imagine it because that's exactly what happened in 1922. So this P-38 was lost during a training flight back in 1942 when the pilot had to make an emergency landing on the ice. If you've seen Captain America, you know that doesn't really end well. Fast forward to the 90s and a team of explorers and archaeologists, led by a guy named Pat Epps, decided to track down this legendary lost plane. They used ground-penetrating radar and metal detectors to locate it, and they hit the jackpot. The P-38 was incredibly well preserved, almost like it was just parked there yesterday. It even had its machine guns and ammo still ready and waiting to be fired. What's even cooler is that they managed to bring this beauty back to life. They carefully extracted it, shipped it to the US, 
and restored it to prime flying condition. Finding this P-38 is like uncovering a piece of history that was literally frozen in time. It's the stuff of legends and a testament to human determination. Plus, it's a pretty epic story to tell at a pilot's bar, ancient frozen lunch. Around 3,500 years ago, someone in the Swiss Alps had a bit of a mishap and lost their lunchbox up in the mountains. We've all had those days, right? Well, fast forward to modern age and archaeologists have stumbled upon this frozen food hidden below the ice for all of those millennia. Talk about a delayed lunch break. Now here's where it gets interesting. They didn't just find a dusty old box of expired food. No. Nope. They did a chemical analysis and found some faint traces of cereals, like wheat and rye, inside. Maybe our mountain climbing lunch dropper was into a whole grain porridge. It was found in 2012, and archaeologists are using fancy chemical techniques to analyze ancient food and drink residues, and it's a rare to find grain lipids on artifacts. But this lunchbox had them proving that it once held wheat and barley or rye. This discovery is like a time machine for understanding early farming and how cereal crops spread through Europe. This wooden lunchbox is part of a cool trend that's been popping up recently. As the climate keeps warming, ice patches in the Alps are revealing ancient artifacts. But just like in this case, thanks to the icy Alps, we sometimes get lucky and find something that can pave the way for knowledge of the past. Who knew a lost lunch could teach us so much? A frozen forest. Have you ever seen an icy, penguin-packed image of Antarctica? It looks like a frozen wonderland, so it's hard to picture that there's actually a rainforest hidden beneath all that ice. This secret rainforest, buried for millions of years, was recently discovered thanks to some clever scientists who used radar technology to peek beneath the surface. They found evidence of an ancient ecosystem that existed during the time of the dinosaurs. Now that's a real blast from the past. So. How did this mess of green plants become sheets of white ice? Millions of years ago, Antarctica wasn't the frozen wasteland we know today. It was much warmer, with lush forests and all kinds of prehistoric creatures roaming around. But then things changed, and the continent got buried under ice. The unbelievable discovery is like opening up a window to the past, revealing how different the environment was in Antarctica before the deep freeze. Researchers even found the fossilized remains of ancient plants, showing that this rainforest once thrived with diverse plant life. Now, that's a far shot from what it looks like today. But this ancient land isn't your typical rainforest with colorful parrots and swinging monkeys. It's more like an icy time capsule of prehistoric Earth and an archaeological wonderland just ready to be explored. Thawed out viruses. If you thought a pandemic was bad news, you don't want to know what's been going on in these labs. Scientists have dug up what they're calling zombie viruses that have been frozen in permafrost for something close to 48,500 years. While the Arctic keeps warming up due to climate change, the permafrost, which is basically super cold soil beneath the ground, is thawing. And hidden in that thawed out soil, among other things, are viruses that haven't seen the light of day for tens of thousands of years. Now, before you start panicking, the chances of these viruses causing a whole new pandemic are pretty low, but scientists are still concerned. Apparently, there's also old chemical and radioactive waste from the Cold War era that's potentially getting released during these thaws, messing with ecosystems and wildlife. Turns out our past actions might have some consequences after all. Some brave scientists have been testing these viruses in lab settings to see if they can still infect things, and wouldn't you know it, they can. So the next step is to try and find cures, right? What's more worrying is that as the Arctic keeps warming, more people will come down and increase the risk of these ancient viruses spilling over into new hosts and causing trouble. So, while it's not an immediate apocalypse scenario, it's a situation we need to keep an eye on and hopefully figure out soon. A Martian Meteor after all of this deep diving, this time we'll be looking upwards at the rock star of Martian meteorites. ALH 84001 is a little chunk of Mars that fell to Earth as a meteorite and caused quite a stir back in the day. It was discovered in Antarctica, hence the ALH in its name, back in 1984. What makes it so special though is the possibility that it might contain evidence of past life on Mars. 
Some scientists got all excited because they thought they spotted tiny structures that looked like fossilized bacteria inside of it. Cue the alien conspiracy theories. Of course, not everyone's convinced. Some say they could have been created by non-biological processes and there's still a good amount of room for doubt. But apart from the potential life possibilities, it's also shown us a bit of Mars' geological history. Scientists think the piece formed around 4.4 billion years ago, making it one of the oldest Martian meteorites we found. In a way, it's kind of like a seed of Martian history, and the researchers are trying to harvest as much information from it as possible, growing frozen seeds. Looks like these scientists might have green thumbs, seeing as how they just pulled off an epic gardening feat by growing plants from seeds that are 32,000 years old. That's practically like gardening time travel. A Russian team stumbled upon this ancient seed stash from a plant called Silene Stefano from Siberia. They were hidden by an Ice Age squirrel near the Kolyma River. Sounds like a movie plot, right? The scientists confirmed the seeds age through radiocarbon dating, and turns out they're truly ancient. Here's the cool part. These seeds were buried super deep, about 124 feet below the permafrost, alongside mammoth, bison, and woolly rhinoceros bones. Some of the seeds were immature, but thanks to the frozen nature, they still had some plant mojo left. So the scientists pulled off some magic and managed to germinate these ancient seeds. These plants grew, bloomed, and even made new seeds within a year. This discovery is mind-blowing because it hints that permafrost could somehow bring back ancient life thought to be extinct. In other words, species that have long been gone might be possible to resurrect if the conditions are right. It's like the Jurassic Park of plants, minus all the dinosaurs. Learning how to wake up seeds frozen for millennia could also be a major breakthrough for safeguarding our planet's plant diversity, ice shipment. That's no Titanic stuck in the ice. In fact, it's no ship at all. It's a colossal iceberg, stretching a jaw-dropping 400 feet. This mammoth iceberg made headlines when it was spotted off the coast of Newfoundland, Canada, thinking it was a submerged ship. In a way, it's like nature's version of a luxury cruise liner minus the pool and buffet. What's fascinating is that this iceberg is much more than just a massive chunk of ice floating around. It's like an icy work of art with its own unique shape and features, sculpted by the elements. People were in awe of its towering presence, and it became a sort of local frozen celebrity. But there's a flip side to this public ice capade. Icebergs like this can be a serious hazard for ships navigating the chilly waters, so they need to be carefully tracked, especially in the warmer season where they can move around more unpredictably. We wouldn't want this ice ship to sail into any real ships that happen to be around. Plus, when they break apart or calve, it can create quite the show with massive chunks crashing into the ocean. So. While this 400-foot ice ship is a breathtaking sight to behold, it's not one you're going to want to take a joyride in, straight out of the ice. So we've already proven that permafrost is a great way to stay young forever. Sure, there's a few kinks in the system, but there's a new ongoing development, a microscopic multi-celled organism that's been frozen in Siberia for 2,400 years has suddenly sprung back to life. This remarkable discovery involves a tiny creature known as a Bedeloid rotifer, found in the icy waters of the Alizea River in the Russian Arctic. After thawing it out, scientists were stunned to see that not only did it wake up, but it also reproduced asexually, meaning without needing any outside help of other organisms. This ability to endure millennia in a frozen state is a phenomenon called cryptobiosis and challenges what we thought we knew about the limits of survival. Before this find, Experts believe that they could survive freezing for about a mere decade at most, but this groundbreaking study, published in Current Biology, suggests that they can endure for thousands of years, if not indefinitely. The researchers are now eager to unlock the secrets behind this incredible feat, and it's not just a matter of scientific curiosity. This discovery might change how we view the resilience of life on Earth and beyond. They're like the ultimate survivors, and if we can learn their secrets, who knows what else we'll be capable of proving. Maybe it's the kind of secrets that they'll even log into ancient notebooks. Frozen Old Notebook 
Some explorers were in the middle of Antarctica, and as they were digging through the ice, stumbled upon a notebook that's been sitting there for a century. It might sound like something out of a time travel movie, but unlike a movie, this really happened. This incredible discovery was made by researchers from the New Zealand Antarctic Heritage Trust. They found this notebook perfectly preserved in the frozen wasteland near the hut of the famous explorer Robert Falcon Scott. Strangely though, it wasn't his book. Instead, what makes this notebook extra special is that it belonged to George Murray Levick, a member of Scott's ill-fated 1910 through 1913 expedition to Antarctica. Levick was a surgeon and photographer, and this notebook is filled with his notes and observations from that expedition. The crazy part, despite being buried in the freezing cold for a century, the notebook is still readable. Sure, they had to brush off some frozen flakes, but this is a first-hand account of what life was like during those early days of Antarctic exploration, complete with drawings and scientific observations. People go into these ice-filled wonderlands hoping to find some great information, but no one expects to actually get well-written records. We definitely prefer it to finding frozen animals in the wild, cubs on the ice. 28,000 years ago, a baby cave lion did something to get frozen in Siberian ice, never to be found again or at least not until recently. This little feline, nicknamed Sparta, is a cave drawing come to life of an ancient past. Sparta was discovered in the Russian Arctic, looking like she's just having a cozy nap. Her golden fur, teeth, organs, and even her whiskers are still intact, even if they've got some major freezer burn. She's practically a time traveler from the past, defying the natural order of the ages. And here's the twist. Sparta wasn't alone. Another cave lion cub named Boris was found nearby, and it turns out that he's even older, clocking in at 43,448 years old. Now scientists are scratching their heads, trying to figure out how these cubs got so well preserved. They suspect they might have perished in a mudslide or fell into a permafrost crack, which basically flash froze them. These little fluff balls paint a picture for us of what it was like in the Ice Age, when Siberia was bustling with mammoths, wolves, bears, and of course, these cave lions. Oh, and it turns out that the warmer Arctic summers, thanks to climate change, are making it easier for researchers to uncover these ancient wonders. So, Sparta and Boris might just be the tip of the iceberg in this icy treasure hunt. The Frozen Lake Vostik Let's journey beneath the icy heart of Antarctica, where a colossal subglacial lake by the name of Lake Vostik keeps its frozen secrets. The place is like a hidden gem in Mother Nature's collection, and this time it's not a secret rainforest. Lake Vostik is a league of its own. It extends across approximately 14,000 square kilometers. That's larger than some countries. Plus, it plunges to incredible depths of up to 1,000 meters. To put it simply, it's a vast underwater realm. And here's where this lake is truly fascinating. It's not your average aquatic feature. It's been concealed beneath the Antarctic ice for countless millennia, completely isolated from the outside world. The temperature down there? A chilly negative three degrees Celsius or 27 degrees Fahrenheit. And the pressure is over 350 times greater than what we experience on the surface. Researchers are eager to uncover its mysteries because it's been shielded from our atmosphere for about 15 million years. That means it could be a time capsule of ancient life forms not unlike some of the others we've already seen. But there is some controversy around the area. There's an ongoing debate about whether the drilling might have disturbed the lake's delicate ecosystem. Does the lake hide life within its depths? That's the riddle scientists are tirelessly working to solve and prove the damage could be worth it future for the woolly mammoth. The Natural History Museum in London just unveiled a remarkably well-preserved baby mammoth named Layuba, who peacefully passed away 42,000 years ago. Layuba was lovingly named after the Siberian deer herder who found her in 2007, and when you lay eyes on her for the first time, it's nothing short of mind-blowing. Paleontology professor Adrian Lister described the experience as simply incredible. Layuba arrived in a box that was cracked open recently, and she almost looks as though she could get up and stroll away at any moment. If you take a closer look, 
you'll notice tiny milk tusks just starting to protrude, a trunk perfect for slurping up snow to quench her thirst, and even a little layer of fat on her head to keep her warm in the frigid Siberian permafrost. She likely surfaced from her icy resting place during the spring thaw, ending up on a riverbank. Although her hair, which would have kept her cozy in life, has vanished over time, she still bears a striking resemblance to her elephant cousins with a wrinkled leathery skin. So if you find yourself in London, swing by the museum and say hi. She's never been outside Russia and Asia until now, and it's an amazing sight to behold. The Skeleton Lake Nearly 80 years ago, in the remote reaches of the Himalayas, a discovery sent shockwaves through the world. A British forest guard in Rupkin, India found a frozen lake at 16,000 feet above sea level, surrounded by hundreds of skeletons. The scene was chilling, and the mystery of what had transpired haunted investigators for years. Initially, during World War II, the assumption was that these remains belonged to Japanese soldiers who perished while crossing India but closer examination revealed a different story. These bones were ancient, not fresh casualties of war. The bones and even some flesh and hair were remarkably preserved by the dry, cold air, but their true origins were too far gone to figure out. From epidemics to landslides to ritual sacrifices, but no one could crack the enigma of Skeleton Lake. It wasn't until a 2004 expedition that answers began to emerge. Turns out that the skeletons date back to around 850 AD and belong to groups of tribes or local guides that helped others pass through the valley. Even stranger was that all of the skeletons had the same head injuries that came from something rounded. It's like cricket ball sized stones rained down mercilessly during a sudden and severe hailstorm. Trapped in the valley with nowhere to seek shelter, they met their bizarre and tragic fate. Historical pair together again. In 2014, archaeologists found a single wooden ski frozen in the ice on Denvergarden Mountain in southern Norway. Seven years later, they finally uncovered its long-lost mate. Together, these 13,000-year-old skis represent some of the best-preserved ancient skis ever found. The recently recovered ski is in even better condition than its counterpart, possibly due to being buried deeper in the ice. They both feature raised footholds and were equipped with leather straps and twisted birch bark bindings attached through holes in the footholds. The new ski exhibits signs of significant wear and subsequent repairs, so there's definitely a past history there. These skis are handmade, and each has its own unique history of wear and repair before an Iron Age skier used them together and they ended up preserved in the ice. This ice patch, where the skis were found, has also yielded artifacts related to reindeer hunting and ancient mountain trails, suggesting that the ski's owner may have been a hunter, traveler, or both. The earliest form of skiing was confirmed in Russia dating back to 6000 BCE, but this pair could give us a good insight on their development. A Hidden Beach Grave Surf's up if you're into prehistoric beach parties, but don't get too excited because this beach has turned into a fossilized graveyard. The ichthyosaur graveyard is located on the Jurassic coast of England and shows us the past up to 200 million years ago. So, what's the deal with ichthyosaurs? They were these gigantic marine reptiles that ruled the seas during the time of the dinosaurs. Picture a mix between a dolphin and a lizard, but way bigger, up to 85 feet in length. Back to the graveyard, it's not really a spooky burial ground, but a spot where you can find tons of ichthyosaur skeletons. It's like they all partied a bit too hard and ended up here when the tides pulled out. Scientists have found over a thousand fossils at this site, making it one of the richest collections of these creatures in the world. But how did they end up in one place? It's believed that these ichthyosaurs got stranded in shallow waters and couldn't find their way back to deeper seas. So they met their fate here, and over millions of years, their remains turned into fossils. It's a bit depressing, but then again, what kind of graveyard isn't? Franklin Expedition Mummies It's the early 19th century, and explorers are on a quest to find the elusive Northwest Passage, a shortcut through the Arctic that could connect the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. Enter Sir John Franklin and his crew, who set on to the perilous journey. Fast forward to 1845, their ships are stranded in the ice, and Franklin's crew is facing a dire situation. 
They run out of food and supplies, and things take a dark turn. Over the years, rescue missions were sent, but the crews couldn't locate Franklin's ships. It wasn't until 2014 and 2016 that modern explorers finally discovered the wrecks, unlocking one of the greatest mysteries in Arctic exploration. They weren't expecting to find much after all these years, but in the frigid waters of the Arctic, the cold preserved the bodies of the crew members, essentially turning them into ice mummies. These incredibly well-preserved remains have shown us a haunting glimpse into what happened, shedding light on their ill-fated journey and the extreme conditions they faced. Today, researchers are still studying these mummies, using cutting-edge technology to learn more about the Franklin Expedition's tragic story, Yucca, the perfect woolly mammoth. You think mammoths would be easy to spot given their huge size, but they're hidden just a bit too well. So when Yucca, the superstar mammoth, was found, it caused an uproar in the archaeological community just because of how perfectly preserved she was. She's over 39,000 years old and hardly looks a day over a millennium. Thanks to Mother Nature's deep freeze, Yucca's skin, muscles, and even internal organs are shockingly well kept. This discovery is a gold mine for scientists, offering a rare chance to study a long extinct species up close with hardly any damages. Researchers are digging into its anatomy, behavior, and the ancient world it called home. It's like having a front row seat to prehistoric times, but Yucca's impact doesn't stop there. This furry time traveler is reshaping our understanding of mammoths and the environments they navigated all together. It's also giving us valuable insights into past climates and how ecosystems worked back then. While Yucca won't be joining any modern herds, she's definitely rocking the world of science and making a name for herself across the world. It's like meeting an ancient celebrity, and it's taking us on a wild ride through mammoth history. Keep off the ice. In a chilling display of the dangers of thin ice, a German hunter, Franz Steele, has set up an unusual exhibit outside his hotel. It's not an art piece, but a fox frozen solid in a block of ice found on the Danube River in southwestern Germany. The eerie image first surfaced in a local newspaper's website, and this unfortunate fox met its icy fate back in early December when it ventured onto the fragile ice and fell in. He and his team removed the ice block with the fox trapped inside from the river and put it on display as a stark warning to be careful out there. The fox will remain on exhibit until the ice thaws, serving as a grim reminder of the perils of venturing onto thin ice during winter. The fox's frozen fur, sadly, can't be salvaged due to its prolonged exposure to the icy embrace, but not much can be done in this case. He also mentioned that this kind of ancient incident isn't uncommon in this region as animals occasionally break through the frozen river's surface in winter. But rest assured, this isn't some dark and twisted prank, it's a natural occurrence highlighting the unforgiving nature of icy waters.